Greetings friends, it's Denise again with Denise's Dancing Paintbrush and today I've got another uh, collage from my fairy tale alphabet book. This is for the letter S, the tale of Sim Chung, a Korean fairy tale. And since the collage is very fast and short today, I'll have to jump right into the story. Long ago in the country of Ming, China, during the reign of Emperor Qing Hua, there lived a poor couple. They were Sim Hyung and his wife Zhong. One day Zhang gave birth to a beautiful daughter, Sim Chang. After naming the daughter, Zhang died. Poor Hyung was heartbroken and in his grief he became very ill and because of his illness he became blind. He did the best he could to raise Chang by himself but they were very poor and often had to beg. When Chang was 13, Hyung went out to find food for their evening meal when he bumped into a rich man's wife and was accused of hurting her deliberately. Just then, a Buddhist monk happened by and swore that the poor Hyung was blind and it was all an accident. Having gotten Hyung out of trouble, the monk told Hyung that he could regain his eyesight if he gave 300 sacks of rice as an offering to Buddha. Without thinking, Hyung promised that he would, and then he returned home. But later, Hyung despaired that he could ever come up with 300 sacks of rice. He could not produce one sack of rice for, for, for their family from their little farm. So when Hyung found out about her father's promise. She swore that she would help him pay it. Sim Chung walked through the town thinking and thinking how she might be able to pay the promised debt. Finally, she came to the docks where the ships were docked and loading. And while she passed some sailors, Chung heard the seamen talking about how they would pay anything to be able to cross the treacherous sea without encountering another storm. The other seamen said that it would take a sacrifice of great value to the dragon king of the sea. Just then, Chung knew what she could do. She approached the seamen and asked if they would be willing to pay 300 sacks of rice to her father if she offered herself as a sacrifice to the Dragon King. The seamen agreed and put out to sea at once, where Chiang threw herself into the sea and drowned. The Dragon King of the Sea summoned this brave girl who had sacrificed herself for her father and he had her resurrected in a lotus flower. When the Emperor Ching Hua heard of her, he sent for her and then he married her. She was now the Empress of China. But Sim Chung longed to see her father and to know if he had regained his sight yet. No one seemed to know what had become of him after Sim Chung had left for the sea. She searched for many weeks and then had the idea of throwing a great feast. She invited all the blind people of the land to come to this feast. When she came out in her very best clothes and jewels, she scanned the crowd of blind people, and there, in the midst, was her father. Running up to him, she threw her arms around him and kissed him. Sim Hyung was overjoyed to be reunited with his daughter, and immediately he regained his eyesight. The Empress Chung provided for her father for the rest of his life. 
Isn't that a lovely tale of sacrifice? It seems to me that many of the um, Oriental tales um, from China, from Japan, from Korea, like this one is, involve great sacrifice or great sadness um, in order for the main character to have achieved greater good. So, after searching through many different sketches, I just wasn't sure what kind of an illustration to do and finally settled on this girl um, underwater. As I do in many of my collages, I like to hide a few pictures, but this one only contains a few little fish and a pink bouquet of flowers. There just wasn't a lot of space to hide things. And so here's the finished illustration. I hope you like it. Let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed my story. I hope you enjoyed my collage. And I hope you subscribe. Check out some of my links below. And do come again. I appreciate everyone who checks me out. Thank you so much. Bye now.